morning guys we're here in uh Huey town uh, i guess it's a suburb of uh birmingham we're supposed to pick up some conveyor belts so uh, i'm about to check in belts picking up conveyor belts headed to texas to mount pleasant texas so hopefully it's a pretty simple situation hopefully it's a nice and conveyor so let me get checked in hopefully we can get strapped and ready to go pretty quick uh see where it goes from here
to stop maybe for two minutes because they said um, they might have loaded us with the wrong stuff. Got it updated, kept rolling. We got here to Monroe, Louisiana, my hometown where I grew up at. Everything's still good on the deck. So just waiting on my, my, my mother to come pick me up. We'll go home, get the tarps and some other flatbed equipment. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back to the truck or I'm gonna stay the night. I guess I'll make that decision when I get home. But uh, we'll just be in, be where we got to in the morning. So my daughter's ready to go home. So she's back here with her, her bags packed. So we'll see. Well, my tarps have been sitting under here for a couple years now. So this one looks pretty good. Just a little dirty. I got a rip in here, but it's fixed. Got a couple holes. Nothing too serious. Just a little dirt. Yeah, just a little dirt. Oh man. Yeah, so we're just out here. Got to unfold that one. That one looks ripped too. But we're gonna clean this off, fold it back up. I see it's not bad to the point where I can't use it, but it does have some holes in it. Hole, hole. I don't know if they're usable again. Got a lot of holes in it, but we're gonna take them with us just in case. But let me roll these back up. Roll them back up and then get the other one spread out and checked out. So yeah, we're here at the, I'm, I'm, I was getting down the road and I had, you know, unfolded the tarps and they were pretty beat up and they're pretty old. So halfway to my truck, I decided that I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna take them back home. But I did stop at my favorite spot right here. Sam's Eatery. The lady, I've known this, the lady for years. And I've known her maybe 12 plus years. Every time I walk in, she already knows who I am. I'm surprised she doesn't know my order by heart because I order the same thing. If you ever get a chance, order the Philly cheesesteak at Sam's Eatery, you will not be disappointed. But got me a got me a Philly cheesesteak and then I'm going to get me a daiquiri on the way back to the house and then we're going to head to the home. So we don't have no no uh, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but if I don't get a load up there, I'm just gonna come back home and spend time with my daughter again. And um, my daughter was in the truck with. She spent the whole the oversized load that y'all gonna that from the episode before, which is one day, and then this one is two days. She been in the truck with me two days. I kind of don't want her to be in the truck with me because I don't think uh, the road is somewhere for a kid to be. So I'm glad to finally get her back home to her mom. I'm really gonna miss her. And I hope she's, uh, I can't wait to see her again. Hopefully I get to see her this weekend. Maybe we'll, we'll go watch a movie or something. But uh, yeah, I'm in our good old city of Monroe. All my friends, all the people I do know either are, well, my homeboy, he's at home. I might see what he's doing. And then, Everybody else done moved out. Of, people usually leave here, they move to Dallas, so. And then when I get to Dallas, they're busy, big city life, they're too busy for people and all that, so. That's why I just stay at home. But, we'll see. Hopefully, everything works out. Hopefully I get a load for the weekend back to Georgia, and then I can stop here tomorrow night spend the week you know tomorrow night and saturday here 
and then roll out Sunday and be in Georgia Sunday morning, uh, Monday morning. But let me wait on this food. I'll show you a quick video of it. Do do my best uh, taste testing uh, interpretation or reaction, whatever you want to call it. And uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm hungry. Ain't ain't, ain't nothing all day. So, probably see y'all in the morning. This is what the storm cell looks like real quick. We're right here in Greenwood. So we shouldn't be in it all day, but we're gonna be in it for most of our trip. But I had recorded a good little intro. We're at the TA. I don't know what's going on. Every time I push my GoPro, it makes a click, but it never records. I gotta make sure it starts recording this time. But I'm at the TA here in Greenwood. I had to stop and use the restroom real quick and make sure my load's secured. Uh, we're still about two hours out from Mount Pleasant, and that's who I really just got off the phone with was the was the owner. So uh, we're gonna get on this road and get down there, and see what the rest of the day has for us. But this is the storm. Looks like around 12 noon. It's looks like around noon it'll stop raining. So get by, get down this road. Well, hey, we made it. It's, it's raining pretty bad and it's cold. Uh, they told me to come around here and we'll get unloaded on this side. So I ain't gonna record much of this unload. Hopefully I can. If you know, if you know me. I damn, I hate the rain with a passion. And it's just getting worse and worse. So let me, uh, start undoing all these straps and stuff and uh, get uh, get this thing going and I'll get back with y'all. Well, we empty guys. Here, we didn't take that long. It was just more of them setting up to unload me. So we're gonna, I was, the broker was supposed to tell me to get a, an empty ticket, he never did. So we're gonna have to head to the truck stop, get an empty weight. Then we uh, see where we go from there. Because they were supposed to move so much uh, product at one time, but I doubt I moved uh, the max amount I could. I was 74, I was 74,000 pounds when I left. So we'll see how much I carried. I think he said they were supposed to have at least 45,000 on that. So I doubt it was anywhere near that. Nearest truck stop about 15 miles away. So, we'll get there. Hey, edit some videos, give me some time to edit some videos and stuff. So. That boy tripping over there, huh? He making a. I don't think he realizes. 